Hello and welcome to another gear review with me, Anjay. Today we are looking at the Hubcap John Swifty, Swifty Pickle Boost Pedal. Now you may have seen me review Hubcap John's um, Bleeding Heart Fuzz Pedal a while back. This is a prototype boost pedal. It's in a tobacco tin, um, which I think is really cool actually. Uh, but the real pedal would also come in a proper enclosure as well. This is just a prototype. In fact, you can see it actually says on the back, test unit one. What it is, it's kind of Swiss army knife of boost pedals. It's got clean boost functionality. It's got EQing functionality, this little switch here. And it's also got clipping thanks to silicon and um, germanium transistors. It can act as a clean boost, it can act as a coloured boost, and can act as a kind of gritty boost as well, where it's um, where you put the clipping in and you get just, it's not kind of a fuzz sound, it just starts to give you a bit of, I don't know, a bit of dirt on the signal. Really, I mean, really, really sounds great. Um, I don't know if you can see, I'll put a picture up on the side, but this, this pedal goes to 11, which makes it even cooler. And because it's in a tobacco tin, you can open it up and have a look inside quite easily as well, which I quite like. That's enough talking. Let's put it on the ground, stick a guitar in it, and let's have a listen to it. Okay, so we're all set up. I've got my Telecaster going into a clean amp. We're gonna just play with the settings on the pickle first and then we're gonna put a distortion pedal in front of it and behind it, just so you can hear what kind of difference it makes to a gain pedal. So clean. And then pedal, everything's set to middle, so no clipping, inputs on I, and we're on 5.5 on the volume. So you can hear that's pushing the middle sort of almost open wah sound to it. Okay, I'm gonna move the input switch to F. So that's closer to the original signal. But a bit boosted, a bit more bass to it, a little bit of sort of, just a tiny bit of grip coming through now. And then M. puts a little bit more a bit more bass in there, a bit more overall volume. So I'm going to leave it on M because I like that one and I'm going to play with the clipping. So to the left we have silicon and to the right we have germanium, the old classics, uh, and what you'd normally find in fuzzes and range masters. So this is still none. Silicon. So it starts to add some, some gain to it. Let's turn the volume right up.
interestingly, that doesn't do much to the overall dirt that's coming through. Now let's flick over to Germanium. So it's kind of it's a bit like a sort of almost. So it's kind of giving it a bit of gain and a boost as well. So that's germanium. So it's just here between germanium and silicon, just flicking through. So I prefer germanium and the M input settings. There's not a great deal of difference between germanium and silicon um, with a digital amp. I imagine with a, a tube amp, you might see a bit more of a, of a range there. But yeah, so this is my favorite setting. So that's what it sounds like on its own into a clean amp. But let's see what it sounds like with a distortion pedal in front of it. So you'll be boosting the distortion signal and then doing it so the distortion is after it, so that you're um, thickening the distortion. So I now have the Joyo Uzi going straight into the pickle. I've chosen kind of a flat EQ setting with on a pickle with no clipping, just to show you what it sounds like as a clean boost for cutting through a mix during a solo. So here is just the distorted tone. And here it is with the pickle. You see you get volume boost and you also get kind of a bit more mid. So this would cut through a band mix really, really nicely. And it doesn't mess with the overall tone too much. So next I'm gonna put it so that the um, the boost pedal is going into the distortion pedal so you can hear how it thickens up the distorted tone. Okay, so I've got the distortion pedal with a lower gain, much lower gain setting now and I've set the pickle up to have the germanium um, clipping on the M side of the EQ. This is without the pedal, uh, without the boost. <laughs> instantly kind of thickens up the tone, boosts the gain a little bit, um, and acts a bit like you'd use a tube screamer if you were playing into a kind of a, um, a distorted amp, just to just to give you a bit more chug, that kind of dun 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 dun. So there you go, the Hubcap John Swifty Pickle Boost Pedal. A Swiss Army knife boost. It can do a bit of everything. It can do that clean boost that you need just to cut through on a solo. It can do the slightly grittier coloured boost that you might want if you're playing a bit of blues but want some dirt in there. Um, it'll thicken up a tone, it'll thin out a tone and make it stand out more. 
it can do a little bit of everything and it does a little bit of everything really, really well. Um, it's the kind of pedal that when you're playing in a band can be really useful because it just gives you that, that way of just pushing through the mix when you need to and then coming back again when you don't need to be the only thing heard. You know, who, who wants their solo to blend away into the background? I think it's awesome. I personally actually love the, the Tobacco Tin version. Um, but like I said, there'll be a proper enclosure version as well. I'll put links to his uh, Instagram in the description below so that you can go and have a chat with him if you're interested. He does a great range of pedals. Like I said, you've seen the Bleeding Heart already. Um, he does some other really cool kind of gamey, boosty pedals, um, more fuzzes. I know he's working on some a really great new fuzz at the moment. Hit him up if you're interested. Um, let me know in the comments what you think of it. What kind of boost pedals are you using? What do you like? I, I personally, on my board at the moment, have the Hello Sailor Range Master. This is the kind of pedal that would sit very nicely as an alternative. Um, do you use boost pedals? Do you find them useful or do you just kind of go with what you've got? Do you add extra distortion? Let me know in the comments. Hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. The bell. Patreon. Anything else you want to hit. Not the screen. That'll hurt. But until next time, I will see you soon. Cheers. Yeah.